I think the thing that struck me most um, and how we got involved in this project in the first place uh, was because we had done all of the traditional planning models of strategic planning and SWOT analysis and hiring consultants and all this kind of thing. And then I read this article in Profit Magazine where uh, Blueprint was quoted uh, about saying, can you describe why your customer should choose you in seven words or less? And I could not. And according to the article, there were dozens and dozens of CEOs that they had interviewed that could not. And that is what springboarded the whole process. I saw it uh, in two ways. One is a differentiator, because I knew darn well that none of our competition would be able to answer that question either. So the idea of being the first um, to be able to answer that question and move forward with that, I thought strategically would be a very smart thing. And uh, I guess the other thing is that you are always trying to be visionary for your company and where you're going in the future. And this gave us kind of a rallying point um, going through this process of what are our seven words. And uh, so it was exciting. And I think everybody needed that in, in that particular economic uh, downturn. Uh, there are so many things that are different from uh, the old planning or traditional planning, as someone might call it. Uh, the first that it was a small group. It didn't really matter who the group was as long as it was people who worked in the company. You weren't having to get, okay, we need someone from here and someone from there and someone from there and you must have a junior person, you must have a senior person. It was just get people who work at the company in a room and, and let's talk. Um, I also like the idea that it was very informal. You weren't sitting around, um, you know, a, a meeting table with a whiteboard and blue um, uh, PowerPoint slides and all that kind of thing. It was a very different process, a very relaxed process. Uh, also that it was done over a period of time rather than, okay, we do it all this week. We, we met every week. Um, there was a beginning and an end to it. And the, the strategy was asking us questions and getting the answer to those questions uh, up on all kinds of pieces of paper around us. And uh, you didn't even realize the progress you were making. And there was always a golden nugget at the end of each one of those sessions, which uh, um, all of our staff, including myself, we were excited about it. Yeah, so th the most important thing that we took away um, from the process was our core proposition, uh, which uh, in, in our case is a higher standard of care. But the process of getting to that um, core proposition also involved us doing research because things came out of the sessions uh, that we did with Blueprint um, that necessitated that. And so we got an awful lot more in terms of an understanding of uh, our business, our staff, the member community that we serve, the 200 moving companies across the country. And that led us to a new strategy through a task force system, which is now how we manage and explore um, any kind of issues that we have, new business ideas. Uh, we use it for training, leadership development, uh, we currently have about uh, 22 that are active. Uh, we've had 37 in total. Um, some of them, of course, have been archived because the work got, got done. And it has become how our entire community of, of moving companies across the country um, speak about uh, the van line and how we run things, which is through task forces. And everything is always done under um, our core proposition, which is a higher standard of care. So all of that was taken away, but it also brought all of us closer together. Um, not only the people who participated in the um, experience of, of going through the blueprint, but then sharing it with the staff, sharing it with our board of directors, sharing it with our um, member community at large and all of their staff. So now we have these, you know, probably a couple thousand people um, that have all been um, pulled into this new way of, uh, of looking at the company and looking at our issues and our new ideas to evaluate them. And we're getting so much done, so much more done. No book sitting on a shelf, gathering dust, the traditional strategic plan, uh, but this higher standard of care, our mandate 
moving forward is how do we do that with every single thing we do, um, no matter what it is that we might be exploring and how do, does everything support that. And all the research that Blueprint urged us to do that came out of that with Hidden Truths um, just filtered out so much wonderful information um, that we learned about ourselves um, that I guess in some ways we weren't ready to face. But after this, we were ready to face it and then do something about it. And the Blueprint gave us the vehicle to do that, the methodology as we ended up calling it. You know, I... I feel that I was very lucky to have read the magazine. I don't know that I ever would have met Blueprint if I hadn't done that. Um, to me, it'll probably be one in my top three things of what I accomplished while I was president of this company. I think that's one of them. And uh, it has made my job so much easier, so much happier. Um, and, you know, it has made such a change to the whole um, culture and personality uh, around the van line of its member community. Um, we even have new language as a result of the, of the blueprint. And, and that is that we call ourselves a, a community and everybody understands it and gets it. And uh, that is incredible to be able to share that message across so many different people and have them all hear it in the same way. And Blueprint helped us do that.